Hey everyone, it's Steve here at the DJ Lab and doing a bunch of videos today, mainly because we got Serato DJ Pro 3.0 public beta came out and I know everyone and their brother jumped on the forums there and downloaded 3.0 beta and installed it on their machines. The problem is what you did was install an unstable beta over top of your Serato. So now your Serato 2.6.0 does not exist anymore in your computer because you wiped it out. And now you got this unstable beta. I'm gonna show you how you can bring an install 2.6.0 and keep your beta to play around with at home and have your 2.6.0 to play out. Now on Serato's site, it does discuss about how to install multiple versions. They don't recommend it. They say it could play havoc with your library, but I don't know. It might, it might not. Just putting it out there just in case anything gets screwed up. So what you're going to do real quickly, you've already installed. This is based on you've already installed Serato DJ Pro Beta. This will work the other way as well too. So if you have 2.6.0 installed, you're going to do the exact same thing except you're just going to rename things a little bit differently. So I'm going to go in, this is on Windows, of course, because I'm using Windows, but this will also work on a Mac as well, too. It's all about just renaming things. That's basically the main gist of this. Go into my program files and you're going to see I have a Serato folder. That's my 2.6.0 and I have a Serato beta folder. So let's say you have, doesn't matter which one you have here, you're going to rename that folder. You're either renaming it to 2.6.0 because that's what's installed. If you've already installed the beta, then you're going to rename it to Serato beta, like I did. I also, in the subfolder, I didn't need to do this. I just did it for my own personal self. Rename this to Serato DJ Pro beta. And then I went and found Serato DJ Pro. I did a right click. I created a shortcut. I sent it to my desktop. I'm not going to do that because I already did it. On my desktop, what I did is I made a folder called Serato Stuff. I moved over the Serato DJ shortcut over here and I renamed it Serato DJ 3.0 Beta. So I know what's what. But then what I had to do was go and download Serato 2.6. Right? So once I downloaded that, then what I had to do is go in here type in add you want to add remove and search for serato and you're going to uninstall serato now don't worry because you already renamed the folder all of this is doing is basically uninstalling it from the registry because if you try and install 2.6 when you have the beta in there it knows something's already installed and it just won't happen so you uninstall that right now, of course, let me find, go back in here. And when you're going back into your program files, you're going to see the new Serato, right? You're going to go in there. You're going to find that Serato one, right? Right click, rename it. Sorry, you're not going to rename nothing at this point. My bad. You're going to create the shortcut, send it to your desktop. I'm saying no because I've done it. It'll be on your desktop. You're going to rename it, move it into that folder, and, and rename that thing Serato DJ Pro 2.6.0. It's going to be called Serato DJ Pro Shortcut. So that's it. Very simple, no hassle. And now you can either launch the, the beta or you can launch 2.6.0 when you're actually out DJing and you're not going to be worried about anything crashing on you. Thanks for watching the channel. I will talk to you all later. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the alert button. Have a good one.